buddy. And of course, butter. We's been on a mission in the backwoods up here. We's coming out now out of the big deep woods. We went down there where old uh, big dog Babe got her nose bit by a rattlesnake down in there. And that's where I took Butter down to try and teach him about rattlesnakes. And I had a good conversation with him, you know. I told him about them and I told him he needed to watch out for them other ones, them copperheads and everything like that. Hey, have y'all ever heard that song called Copperhead Road? Boy, I love that song, don't y'all? Look right here. Now, them is dogwoods. Dogwoods. Named after butter. Not really. Ain't them dogwoods? Yeah, them dogwoods. All right, anyway, so we's a cruising. We's about to get... We only seen one suspect today that we we had to... We got... We jotted down his... I mean, his uh, license plate number because that's what we's out here for. We got tipped it off to possibility of somebody out here doing something nefarious like dumping some big old mattresses and stuff. Boy, I tell you, if I, I, I don't know, I'm too old to do much, but if I ever caught anybody doing that, I believe I'd give them a good piece of my mind. But boy, I tell you, you never know when this day and time, them guys might be carrying a gun and just itching to shoot somebody. And I don't want to be that person they shoot. Okay, I'm on the Oh wait, no, I do I got one more little thing I was gonna tell you. This is gonna be a short one. I'm gonna put in some, uh, I'm gonna put in this uh, Woody and Butter Road Port uh, number three. Uh, we was driving along here and, and I picked up some information the other day from a, a snitch up here. And I, and it, well, he wasn't not a snitch. He was just a guy that knew what was going on. And, he filled me in, but I guess if I was going to write a report about it, I'd have to, I'd call him a snitch or maybe a confidential informant. But right over there is Lake Sylvia. Right over there. We'll go by the entrance to it in a minute. There's another dogwood. And anyway, so what we did was, we was chatting about it, and I said, how come, what's going on with that lake down there? It's been empty, and I, for, I think this is going on the second summer season. And he said, well... I'll tell you, and he's, he's a slow talking kind of guy. Here it is, here's Lake Sylvia. See, it's dry out there. And we've had enough rain, that should be full. Well, here's what happened, he filled me in on it. There's a dam on this thing that's got a big old thing you let the, they let the water out with. Here, here's what it is, Lake Sylvia National Forest. All right, anyway, so they got this thing and it used to have a big old wheel on it. I remember seeing it. I, I probably had pictures of it in my old picture album and everything. Better keep an eye out. And uh, he's keeping an eye out for the Sasquatchy. We, we had emergency call out here on that deal right there. I'm beginning to wonder about that. All right, but anyway, because uh, there ain't never no poop. You can't, there ain't never, nobody found no Sasquatch poop. Well, I got a question about that, you know? Anyway. Okay, what was I telling you? Oh, uh, Lake Sylvia. So then, so what happened, it had this big old wheel on it, and when it's time to let the water out, they'd go turn that big old wheel, and it took two people to turn that big old wheel, this guy was telling me. And he said in the old days, he'd come down there, and they'd, you know, sometimes it'd be a big deal. They'd watch people, turn, you know, letting the water in and out, and turning it out, and draining the lake, and all that kind of stuff. Ain't a pretty day. Let's see what the temperature is. It's 70. Holy cow, it's 78. I'll have to turn on the air conditioner. Fat Boy Slim won't do it, but I will. Look, there's Butter. He's chicken around the meat. So anyway, I'll keep going here. So anyway, several summers ago, or a couple years ago, or something like that, or maybe a little longer than that, they, uh, some boys was messing with it, see? And these boys from probably Perryville or Bigelow or somewhere over there, you know, them old boys, they big old boys anyway. They probably could just do them one hand. But anyway, so as they're doing that, they might be a deer. They'd say, all right, I'm gonna turn, if you can't turn this, I'm gonna punch you in the face and throw you in the water. That's the kind of game they play, boy. Them boys are big boys. When we was up snowball, me and Vinnie Paul and Bobby, we played them on the, on the six-man football team. They whipped our ass every year. All right, so anyway, uh, them boys messed it up. So then the government, in its infinite wisdom, it went out and it spent a whole bunch of dollars. Now, Woody ain't researched that too good yet to find out exactly how many dollars they did spend, but I know it's a substantial amount. And uh, to put on an electric and hydraulic, big fancy, you know, flip a switch, and it goes a goomer and a gommin, and it digs its way down through there, and it lets out the... Butter, you see anything? No, it is. 
So anyway, sometimes we see deer in here, and he'll go nuts if he sees the deer. But anyway, uh, so they put that big fancy thing on there, cost a bunch of money, follow the money, because somebody's brother-in-law made some money on that deal right there. <coughs> oh, excuse old Woody. Dang. I coughed it yesterday at the doctor's office. They said, you got the COVID. I said, no, I ain't got the COVID. I got the damn allergies. I can spit up. And so I can instantly spit up some pollen if they ask me. I said, you want me to spit up a little pollen to prove it to you? And they said, no, don't spit up no pollen, Woody. We'll have to call the security on you. So I didn't want, you know, I didn't want that. Either. So anyway, what had happened was they put that hydraulic thing on there, a big expensive thing, and you know it worked about one summer and then it broke. And it is broke now. And it's broke in the open position. And it ain't no big scientific reason that the lake's empty, you know, like them spores that get in there and snakes and it's dirty and everything. It ain't that. It's just they got the, they did a bunch of goomer and follow the money kind of crap on that thing right there. And for that, the public suffers. All right, reach out. Woody, we love you. This is number three. Okay, tune in, share, and like so me and Butter can get rich quick on this YouTube's live updates. We're going to be going to Perryville pretty soon and give you a tour of that little town. They got more restaurants there than they do in on Chanel Parkway. I never seen nothing like it. I'm going to go check them out, though. All right, reach out. Give a helping hand, Woody and Butter. Bye.